Hey, what's up guys? I'm Anthony with SkidSteerSolutions.com. Today, I'm gonna to be giving you a thorough overview of Stanley Cyclone Drop Hammer attachments and tell you why you should consider having one at your next job site. After we learn a little bit more about it, we'll take it out on a demo job site and show you exactly what it can do. The Stanley Drop Hammers are versatile. They take minimal investment to own and operate, have fewer maintenance problems, and the shock transfer transmitted back to the carrier machine is low. These are design characteristics that make Stanley's drop hammer a leader in this attachment category. You should know that the Stanley drop hammer attachment line consists of three models, each in its own impact energy class. There's the DH1500, the 3500, and the 9000 drop hammers. Each of these models can be mounted on a skid steer, excavator, and possibly other machines. We'll talk a little bit more about the specs of each of these models. The model number represents the pounds of energy released at impact. So the DH3500 we have here, for example, hits with a force of 3,500 pounds. That's a lot of energy, and that's what makes the concrete below crumble into those tiny little pieces. You're gonna wanna make sure your machine's lifting capacity in a hydraulic flow system matches up with the right Stanley drop hammer, so knowing the weight's very important. The DH1500 model with a skid steer quick attach plate is 880 pounds. The DH3500 is more than double that weight at 1,750 pounds, and the DH9000 comes out at 3,150 pounds. The hydraulic flow rate to run one of these drop hammers starts at a minimum of 9 GPM on the DH1500 and climbs up to a maximum of 31 GPM on the DH9000. For more detailed hydraulic specifications, suggested machine weight classes for each model and more, just visit the Stanley Drop Hammers page at skidsteersolutions.com. A hydraulic concrete breaker like the MB05 by Stanley uses gas, typically nitrogen, in conjunction with the host vehicle's hydraulic system to move a chisel or spike point tool in some models as fast as 1500 blows per minute. Drop hammers like the DH3500 use a heavy weight, commonly 500 to 700 pounds, that's raised by a hydraulic motor, then released to travel a given distance under the influence of gravity. This process means fewer BPMs, but the result is a significant amount of impact energy that's transferred to the concrete slab, meaning it breaks up more per each hit. Drop hammers also boast a power to weight ratio of five times what other traditional hydraulic hammers deliver, and models like the Stanley DH3500 work best with a concrete thickness no greater than 10 inches. Because the hammer's tool is square, it makes sense that this would work best on flat surfaces. If you'd like to purchase one of these amazing attachments, you can order online from the leader in attachments, skidsteersolutions.com. <laughs>